The Mary Chick's gone! <laughs> you can't tell me you dodge a blast like that without them hairy cheeks disappearing. Hey Godzilla vs King Kong fans, my name is Chris. Man, that Godzilla vs Kong trailer was unbelievable. Exactly what we needed in the year 2021 because I'm still raging on how epic that thing looked. Truly so happy we're getting this movie in March come hell or high water. But one thing's for sure, now that we've seen the trailer, I did get a chance to do a trailer breakdown for you guys where I gave you my immediate reaction and my general thoughts on everything going on. Really tried posting my actual trailer Trailer reaction where I first saw the trailer but YouTube apparently wanted to be some hoes so instead I'm bringing you this. What I'm going to be doing here for you guys is breaking you down now the most popular theories that fans are having now that we've seen the Godzilla vs Kong trailer have a much better idea to what is actually happening in the monster universe and also like why the hell are they making Godzilla out to be the bad guy? Look, I'm Team Harry Cheeks all the way. Go Kong. But even I gotta admit, that is some weird marketing choice. But we all kind of know what's going on now. So be sure you guys are also leaving your thoughts down below. Your theories, your opinions. Which one you agree with on my list. Which one did you disagree with? Open to any discussion. But hit that like button. And also, subscribe so close to hitting 250k would mean a lot to me. Alright, so let's dive into the first theory we have going on here. And that is... Mecha Godzilla. It is without a question we will be seeing the Robocop Godzilla show up in this film. Not only because it was literally like the first giant we see coming out of the trailer, you really thought we wouldn't notice, but we noticed. And then the not so subtle but obvious confirmation of the blueprints in the back with a Mecha Godzilla charging up systems loaded being created by Epix. All that was left is how did they come to the creation of Mechagodzilla? The most popular theory going on right now with this is that it comes from two things that has already been set up in the monster universe. First, back in the 2014 Godzilla movie, we saw bones of an older Godzilla that was destroyed and then we had no idea what happened to those bones. Flash forward to the ending of King of Monsters where we had another company separate from Marnar getting the Ghidorah head and using it for whatever purpose. Of course, people really hoped that it would be the Mecha Ghidorah, combining these two, it seems like the way Mecha Godzilla is going to come to life is using the skeleton bones from those Godzilla remains in the 2014 movie, pairing it up with the brain that was left over from King of Monsters. Using the actual brain as a form of AI to power the suit and get it going would also be a perfect explanation for why it goes rogue, for why it can't be controlled, and why Godzilla and King Kong would have to step in to take care of this thing. Really, with everything being set up, it would be a waste not to use all that stuff that they've been doing if they really just go ahead and say that they've made the Mega Godzilla purely from robotic parts and AI engineering then what the hell is the point of all those easter eggs you were throwing at us? Before we get to another very popular Mechagodzilla theory involving a fake Godzilla, let's talk about the Battle Axe origin. Probably the most money shot of the trailer was Kong with his Battle Axe, using it as a way to deter Godzilla's atomic breath and use it at his advantage. Now fans are really starting to theorize to where this axe is actually coming from, and even I had my own theory that I'm not, not believing anymore where I thought the humans have built this axe Monarch went ahead and supplied it to Kong. After further analysis of looking at the trailer here, it really seems like instead the axe is going to be a hand-me-down from King Kong's ancestors. Now watching back the trailer and seeing the journey that Monarch takes King Kong in and trying to give him everything possible so that he stands a chance when fighting Godzilla, we are greeted to an area that seems like Skull Island where King Kong places his hand and most likely opens a door to a new world that we will touch upon in a sec, leading him to find a battle axe that was crafted by his ancestors. Even in previous MonsterVerse movies, they have already given us hints that Godzilla and King Kong have fought before, at least their ancestors have been at war, this is not something new, they just can't seem to get along, and more than not, Kong's ancestors were most likely having the most difficult time fighting a Godzilla with that atomic breath that they had to come up with a way to fight that back. The real mystery will be how Monarch discovers this place, because for from the shots of the trailer, it looks like they're the ones leading Kong to this area. You can see the floating ships in the background. That looks like they might be in reference to another kaiju, Gamera. That is also a very popular titan, but thanks to some copyright issues, it doesn't seem like he'll be making an appearance in this movie. Still worth pointing out that little easter egg there, but Monarch discovering this land and taking Kong to it will really be a sight to behold. But speaking of this area, we have to get to the next theory, and that is Godzilla vs Kong will finally be confirming and introducing 
the hollow earth theory. Now the hollow earth theory was something that was actually introduced in Kong Skull Island. It's mentioned by John Goodman's character Bill Randa who explains the theory as underneath earth's crust there are pocket spaces where complete ecosystems are inhabited by a bunch of kaiju that have yet to step foot on earth and this is also where we get a bunch of these titans coming out of nowhere in all these monster verse movies. If we look at shots of the Godzilla vs Kong trailer Kong is definitely stepping in to some really out of world locations one place in particular where he's fighting you can even see it looks like there are some upside down mountains above kong in the sky essentially this being right here a part of hollow earth where kong goes into in order to find his battle axe that his ancestors have left behind this i think will actually be a very key component to the ending of godzilla vs kong and how they'll choose to expand the monster universe if given more sequels after after Godzilla vs Kong. Also want to go ahead and point out because I see a lot of people saying that this is Kong on top of Godzilla and as much as I want to see that because I'm team hairy cheeks this is Kong on top of a Godzilla painting that is glowing blue not actually Godzilla himself. Before getting to the theory of how the hollow earth sets up the ending for Godzilla vs Kong and the future of the monster verse we have to talk about one of the number one theories everyone is going around mentioning and that's that King Kong is not fighting Godzilla in this movie. Fans are really starting to heavily theorize now that the Godzilla that appears in the trailer is in fact not Godzilla at all, instead is an imposter and is also Mecha Godzilla in disguise. A lot of details point to this being the case here. For one, this is something that they've already done in the previous Godzilla movies. One of the very first movies that had Mecha Godzilla versus Godzilla, it was where Mecha Godzilla was wearing this sort of Godzilla skin suit before he finally went ahead fleshed it off and then fought Godzilla in his full Robo Prime. It seems that they could be taking inspiration for that and bringing it over to Godzilla vs Kong and giving us a good reason for why King Kong and Godzilla, or at least a version of them, would fight. We all knew something was off in the trailer when they were trying to pin Godzilla to be a villain when in the previous movies he's done nothing but save humanity, fight for them, try to protect as many people as he could, that this sudden change in character just did not make a whole bunch of sense. The biggest debate with this though is this fake Godzilla wearing a skin suit Terminator style where as the battle continues and Kong is fighting this fake Godzilla will he slowly be tearing away to actual fake skin revealing more robo parts I would think that would look absolutely fantastic and even just thinking about that shot where King Kong is gonna take that axe to his face once that blow is done if Godzilla stands up and is then looking at a half Godzilla half robot face Oh, this movie can have all my money in the world. If not that, they could go with the more advanced way of doing things that could make sense with Godzilla being basically all made out of chrome, and that is that he projects a sort of hologram around him that makes him look like Godzilla. Even in some of the shots of the trailer where we first see what we think is fake Godzilla going up to fight King Kong, there is some orange liquid coming out of his mouth and his hand slamming onto this naval base. It turns a little blue and electric which would be a weird effect for when Godzilla is smashing some ships they would blow up not really turn blue and have this electricity effect that could be the hologram acting up even the shot of the tail in use underwater that does not really seem like a Godzilla tail and looks a lot more mechanical this would be a really awesome twist but at the same time would kind of be a cop-out because for the majority of the movie we're not really getting Godzilla vs Kong we're getting Mecha Godzilla versus Kong. Some fans are even worried that Godzilla might not even be in the movie at all and he might be some sort of Luke Skywalker. Where is he? I heavily believe that's wrong and that Godzilla would most likely show up towards the end of the battle either when Kong is at his wits end about to lose unless this movie's really gonna pull off the misunderstanding that whenever Kong looks at real Godzilla he thinks it's the evil Godzilla and fights him there and Oh, that's when we're stepping into some weird territory that we just have to accept so these guys can actually fight. But that does lead me to how Godzilla vs. Kong will most likely end, and it will be the cop-out that everyone is thinking. The whole one will fall tagline that they're promising us that one of these kaijus 
will fall to the ground and be done with, then that is Mecha Godzilla. The fake Godzilla will be the one to fall. But that still leaves us with King Kong and Godzilla out there, and their ancestors are enemies, so much so that Kong literally has an axe meant to fight people of his kind. This is where the Hollow Earth theory comes back in and will give us the explanation for how these kaijus will live in peace on one world, and that's where Kong will retreat back to Hollow Earth. That'll be his new Skull Island where he'll rule amongst those animals heck would not even be surprised if this is the ending shot of King Kong just ruling that territory and making his place known while Godzilla will remain above the earth protecting the citizens and the cities and if there's ever an Avengers level threat out there where an even bigger kaiju like a Mecha Ghidorah then that is where the two will come up team up and fight again for the earth but those are just some theories that fans are theorizing and going on about with this Godzilla vs Kong trailer in the end I am just super excited for this film I just want to see these Titans clash I'm hoping that I can get a chance to see this in theaters either way I am not missing this movie when it comes out I want to hear from you guys which theories do you believe in which do you think are complete crap anything and everything or if you have your own theories you want to add on be sure to leave that down below as well. Don't forget to hit that like button. Purchase the shirt in the description if you want to support the channel. And subscribe and help me hit 250k would mean a lot. Thanks so much for watching, guys. But as always, my name's Chris. Take care.